Welcome to Hong Kong. This is Wan Chai District. Wan Chai is um, near Central District where I'm staying. And uh, there's lots of really quirky corners, cafes, restaurants, things like that to enjoy. So I'm going to kind of bring you along for that journey. Um, while we're here, I'm going to give you a little teleporting tour to different spots and things that I did while I was in Hong Kong. So if you stick around to the end, I'm going to show you how I ran into the protests that are here um, and kind of give you a little update on that and what I saw and what my perspective is on it. Um, and I uh, hope you enjoy those footages. So first up, let's go and check out a really cool temple in my friend's neighborhood. I'm also here to take a break from teaching. I'm still working and supporting my referrals that are going through the process and working on my website and things like that, but I just wanted to take a break and I just can't stress how important that is just to step back from teaching and, you know, when you're on holiday, you can certainly teach with VIP Kid and that's one of the beauties of this job, but it is also so good to just be done with your classes for a few days. So let's go and get some breakfast. I'm getting hungry. Hello, I can have three different ones. Yes, for here you are looking at uh, one pan fried leaf, one vegetable, and one uh, pork and cabbage. Thank you. So she was not that friendly. <laughs> but anyway, I got three buns, which are well known in Hong Kong to be a kind of a breakfasty kind of item. So let's dig in and check them out. Okay, so this one is I think leek. Not bad. You can see the vegetables in there. This might be the assorted vegetable one, actually. Pretty good. I'm starving, so just about anything is good right now. Let's try another one. This one, this is the pork one. So, this one's really good, actually. Very, very tasty. The bun is hot. And steamy inside. Yeah, really good. Alright, I'm gonna finish this and I'll catch you later. As I said, one of the things that I'm also doing while I'm here is working, but I'm not teaching. And so my mornings generally consist of responding to emails, uh, responding to YouTube comments, following up with referrals on the process, where they are, um, coaching. This is when I do most of my coaching, um, just helping you know teachers with their demo class. 
the uh, mock class, things like that. And um, yeah, I sort of spend the morning doing that. So I'm gonna grab my coffee and let's do it. One of the great things about Hong Kong is just the ease of transportation and you know, the efficiency of the subway and you know things like that. So um, I took the subway quite a lot while I was here and uh, also took the ferry over to Discovery Bay and uh, went to a Christmas market there with some friends. So I'm going to give you a little tour right now with some pretty little music of the Christmas market in Discovery Bay. Let's go. All right, hope you enjoyed that market. Now we're gonna take a trip to the top of IFC Mall in Central District, where they have kind of a free area where you can just bring your own lunch, your own things to eat and drink, and just sit and look at the beautiful views. So let's check that out. So, hope you enjoy the free views. I'm all about the free stuff. That's what I do when I'm on holiday. I always look for what's free, what's inexpensive. Hong Kong is just an incredibly expensive city. A VIP teacher could not live here just on the VIP kid income solely. You really would need to be working here, I think, personally, because cost of living is just like incredible. Um, I'd have to move, I'd move back to Canada before living here, I think, if I was relying on my online teaching only. So, anyway, let's go check it out. This is the top of the IFC Mall, and over here, you see Kowloon. And we are on Hong Kong Island right now. Uh, beautiful day here in Hong Kong. A little cool, maybe around high teens. Uh, sweater weather, which is a real shock to me coming from Malaysia, uh, where we just wear shorts and t-shirts every day uh, but it's just a beautiful city and I just love this skyline here. Tonight I think I'm gonna see the light show from the Kowloon side looking at Hong Kong and uh, I'll try to get some good footage of that for you but thanks for coming along for the journey let's keep going. So this is a little bit of the glitz and glamour of Nathan Road on the Kowloon side of Hong Kong. So I'm about to meet some friends for dinner and I will see you in a minute. I'm getting hungry. Oh, oh geez, 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 geez. <laughs> hey. hey, how are you guys? Nice. Good. You too. Aww. That's yeah. Save you some battery here. Right Stay out of my fans. Yeah. What's up fans? Hey fans. Peace. <laughs> like and subscribe and all that. <laughs> Thank you.
So, as I promised, I wanted to talk a little bit about the protests uh, without getting political or giving too much of, you know, political opinions and things like that. And to be quite honest, I really don't know enough about the situation to make a lot of comments. My friends that live here, you know, talk about the protests um, being peaceful generally. Of course, things have escalated and you never really know when it's going to get dangerous. It was around five o'clock in the evening and uh, there was a protest happening on Queen Street, I think it was, in Central. And it was planned, all of the protests are planned and, you know, have, they have to be applied for and things like that. And so what you're going to see is the police on one side of the street and the protesters like about 500 meters down on uh, the other end of the street with blockades and things like that. And it was really interesting to watch because there wasn't really a lot happening and it was relatively peaceful. The police are armed, of course, and they've got uh, their tear gas and things like that. It's just a very, uh, I would say, stressful time for Hong Kongers. They really are fighting for their freedom and they really are passionate about you know, their future. And so you kind of see a lot of um, the younger generation really rising up and taking this really seriously. So anyway, this is some footage I got from the protest the other day. Okay, I'm kind of uh, doing this like walking tour, but jump cutting to different scenes. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have been to Hong Kong, let me know in the comments below. I would love to know what you did while you were here. There are tons of things to do. I don't generally do the main uh, touristy things when I visit places. Um, I tend to like to find the kind of unique spots and things that people don't think about. And I'm always looking for cheap and I'm always looking for free. So, um, this trip was not really about visiting a lot of different places because I've done ma many of the tourist sites before. So it was more about just taking a break from work, catching up with some good friends, getting some good food, and just relaxing. So I hope you enjoy this vlog. If you have not subscribed, please click that subscribe button. Hit the like for this video. Hit the bell for notifications where you will get notified when I make other videos related to online teaching, being a digital nomad, working from my laptop, and just creating a flexible life uh, for myself. Thanks everybody, I will leave you with some extra footage at the end of this video. See you next time.